Hello again, we're back here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Confessions of a Paper Addict 20 Days of Christmas and Summer Cut Files. Don't forget to the 20th New Zealand Standard Time, so the 19th here in the United States, 25% off the entire Cut File store with a few exclusions that are listed right there. So as it is day 16 and it, the prompt for the day is the title Cut File, I'm using this You Slay Me and it is from the December 4th release. So now I'm going to not use Distress Inks, and I pull in two of the Close to My Heart inks, Peach. And I think it's Sundance, but I'm not 100% sure what the darker color is. I do all the inking off camera because Close to My Hearts don't blend as much. I take those three punches there, and I'm going to punch out from the Peach cardstock, and I use that color right there. So the larger ones, I do ink blending around and with the Peach. And just kind of create the little circle effects. And for the You Slay Me, I basically just take the cut file and just press it right into that darker pad, ink pad. And it has like a crosshatch effect. Looks really cool. You'll see that in a minute. I layer up the three circles. I do some tearing and some more inking. And there you go. See? So I wish I would turn that one over. What color is that? Can anybody see that? Not 100% sure. All right. Anyway. So the only thing that is a here down is the circles and I show you right there that I did the darker color along the strip and for these little circles I went ahead and ink blended each one of them and you know that the close to my heart cardstock is reversible it's the true color and a lighter color. So you see that we've got you know a couple different colors of circles there. Um, I only used two I didn't use all three. I took the zip strip which is what close to my heart calls the border strip and attached it to the side of the peach cardstock. Did some ink blending and that is where um, my photo is going to sit over there. So I wanted to pop this up on some foam as well. That's the picture that I layered. Um, I did a double mat on each side of the cardstock so it's true color and light color. We're going to go ahead and use the ATG and I use a liquid glue because, well, I don't know, just want to make sure it sticks. So the prompt is all about a title cut file, but I went with You Slay Me because this was super funny. Um, my husband and his daughter were wrapping presents, and I was like, I need pictures of this. This was last year, and she had no idea what having a scrapbooking stepmother was going to mean, and she was still confused at this point. So you see right there, I got my everything laid down and then totally forgot that the cut file was uber super large because I made it uber super large. And I'm just going to, I'm going to alter it a little bit to make it work for me. So I'm going to take the U and cut it apart. And then I cut the little, little dot from the eye. I know it's called, I know it's called something. What's that called? There's an actual term for that. Anyway, and I save that and we'll add that later. So I'm going to go ahead and get the U stuck at the top. And again, just a little bit of liquid glue along with my ed, um, ATG. We get that popped up there. Making sure it's straight. We get it tucked down. Then I'm going to take the you the slay me part. And I literally trimmed slivers upon slivers of fun foam and stuck it down. Yes. Yes, that took a while. But... I like the effect, and that was just because it was going to overlap my photo, which was popped up on Fun Foam. And it's only that part of the L, right? I know. So, then we're going to put the little dot back on the eye, and there's my title on the You Slay Me. I'm looking for a few little things, but absolutely not going to lie here. Didn't want to decorate this too much and take away from how fabulous this layout is looking already. Like, what happened? I was doing real good with more is more is more is more. And now I'm like, nope. Nothing must go on the page. So I don't know. Yeah. So we'll get back into the more is more. Trust me, we will. So I'm just taking some little wordy bits. But we are pretty much going to be done. I think I come in with some sequins. I believe so. Um, just to add a little bit more to it. The end photos will have the second uh, ink pad so you guys can see what I use. I do pull out some Spiegel Mama scraps and I think it's uh, White Day or something. I don't know. Those will also be in the end photos. 
Uh, I really need to write, write this stuff down as I'm using it. So I want to do the voiceovers later. You guys aren't like me all guessing what I'm using. So yeah, I absolutely love the way that this turned out. And even though it's a Christmas um, layout, it's not, uh, it's not Christmas colors, right? It's peach. And it's super uber awesome. So I'm just going to pop the sequins down in clusters of three around the layout just to add a little bit of something to make it shimmer and shine because it just was not. So while I'm doing that, don't forget that for today, which is day 16, all the other creatives will be linked down below. Check them out. Check out the Etsy store. Check out the Facebook group. Give everyone some love. Kind of like be kind, rewind. Um, yep, and like I said, see what cut file they use and what, because everybody most likely will have chose a different cut file for the title, which has been so cool. We all have the same starting prompts, unless you're going summer or Christmas. So that's it. And everybody has something different. So that's going to do it for today. Don't forget to check everybody else out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.